Well, it's a long dream come true. Uh, we were talking about it in those days, how wonderful it would be to have part of Somerset House as our campus, and especially the law faculty. I mean, we lived in a pigeon hut, really, and it was very, very tight and very difficult indeed. And uh, dreams come true, occasionally. <laughs> well, I was really pleased because obviously we used to get a 25% discount in the cafe. <laughs> so I used to come, um, you know, whenever I had a class, I often would end up there just reading or, you know, with friends. So I mean, I was really pleased because I kind of associate Somerset House with Kings anyway. Yeah. Um, so it just makes sense to me. Um, and even though, obviously, I won't benefit from it, it's still quite exciting. Yeah. Uh, well, I knew for some time that Kings were trying to get their hands on this building. I mean, it dates right back to the founding of the college. Um, yeah, so it was, it was, um, I think it was really good news, just as alumni, to hear that they finally got their hands on this part of the building. Um, I think it's really good for, uh, for Kings, who's sort of trying to build on their global reputation, to have this sort of really important, sort of uh, well-known international sort of building. Well, I was quite delighted. I mean, we know that King's has been trying to get Somerset House for a very long time and when I joined King's I heard, you know, we're going to get Somerset House at some point and I was very delighted to hear that after all, after 180 years, we managed to get it. And I think it's a great improvement for King's, for, most of all for the law school, which right now doesn't have too great sort of facilities, uh, dealer facilities, and yeah, it's very nice to have a representative building after all. Mm -hmm.